Hello YouTube, my name is Captain Darren and in today's video I'm going to show a fellow ham radio station. His name is Conrad and his call sign is right there. AB6ST. Stay tuned. Let's take a tour of his shack. Alright, I'm walking into his radio shack here and it's incredible. He has a lot of a lot of equipment and I want to put him on a camera and he's going to explain to everyone on his setup here at his AB6ST ham radio station. Hello, baby. Hello, Papa. What are you doing? You want to talk to ham radio? Where's the microphone? Don't have the microphone. See, you want to talk? No, not today. Adios. All right, we have uh, Conrad. He's gonna explain his setup here in Garland, Texas. Hello, fellow uh, hams. Uh, this is Conrad, uh, Alpha Bravo 6 uh, Sierra Tango in Garland, Texas. And I have the honor of uh, having Captain Darren and for uh, VFR as my guest tonight. He asked me to uh, show you my shack. Here it is. Okay, I have the uh, ICOM uh, 7610 as my main uh, radio and uh, I have the uh, LDMOS uh, uh, linear amplifier uh, capable of uh, 3000 watts but I'm only uh, using uh, 1000 watts uh, uh, I have the um, ICOM uh, 7300 as a backup and uh, the uh, uh, Seago uh, G90 with the GSOC uh, controller as the backup of the backup. And uh, I added some uh, wow. nice uh, dancing lights. Uh, right here? Yeah, right there. Yeah, so uh, another backup of the backup. <laughs> ICOM 718 and uh, my mobile. Uh, FT-857 uh, uh, I got the scanner and um, oh another backup oh, he has like FT-757 GX2 and uh, my first radio actually um, a Yaisu FT-101 Zulu Delta uh, one of the old uh, reliables um, Still working. That's a tube, is it? That's yeah, a it's a uh, hybrid uh, solid state oh, and wow. a tube. Okay, yeah. Wow, so far, a very <laughs> impressive radio shack. He has many backups to a backup to a backup. <laughs> and uh, do all of these radios actually work? Yeah. Or do yeah. they need repair? Okay, very good, awesome. We're gonna ask him how long he has become a ham radio operator. How did he become a ham radio, ham radio operator? Okay, yeah. I. I started in the CB radio uh, back in the uh, late uh, 70s, uh, early 80s. And then uh, from there, I upgraded to ham radio. Uh, I started on uh, two meters. Yeah, also have the uh, ICOM 02 uh, Alpha Tango as my first uh, radio. And I converted actually for HF. Um, I have this. Uh, CB radio with single sideband so I uh, played with it and I was able to convert it to uh, 10 meters and I enjoyed talking to uh, from Philippines before I enjoyed talking to Japan uh, Australia Guam you know, and uh, sometimes uh, propagation is good uh, you get to uh, talk to Europe you yeah? know well, with just uh, uh, low power uh, four watts, right? Four watts? Yeah, four watts. Uh, <laughs> so, hey, wow. <laughs> then I went to uh, Saudi Arabia. I was able to join the uh, Daharan Amateur Radio Club. Because in Saudi Arabia during that time, it's very restricted uh, for ham uh, radio uh, license. Uh, only the royal uh, families are uh, giving, uh, given uh, licenses. And uh, the club station Hotel Zulu One Alpha Bravo uh, in Daharan uh, Air Base uh, was given a special license. Uh, it was it's run by the U.S. Uh, military uh, 
So uh, I was able to join them and uh, became the uh, only uh, Filipino member. A lot of members are from uh, USA. Uh, I think we got a member from uh, Sweden that time and the uh, UK. Yeah. Wow, uh, that's, yeah. I see that you have a photo right here. Yeah. Look at that handsome guy. <laughs> How old were you here? Uh, <laughs> that was a long time ago. A long time ago. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. but probably in the late 30s <laughs> and uh, they actually uh, featured me in the um, uh, before on the uh, Philippine Amateur Radio magazine. Uh, they had that one before, I think, uh, QST uh, magazine. Uh, so, uh, I had the pleasure of uh, talking to a lot of uh, Filipino hams uh, when I was there in Saudi Arabia. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it, you know. Uh, it takes out the homesick uh, if you're uh, out of the country, uh, but still you're able to uh, talk to your fellow uh, Filipino hams. Uh, oh, it feels good. Yeah? <laughs> I'm very impressed with Conrad's setup here, and he's going to talk to you about several repeaters that he has at his location. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is the uh, Motorola MTR2000 uh, UHF uh, repeater that I'm using for uh, digital. Uh, I converted it to uh, digital um, for uh, C4FM, uh, DMR, yeah, uh, D-Star, and these are my uh, <laughs> switch uh, routers and uh, Cisco switch. How much power does this repeater put out? Yeah, it's, it's capable of 100 watts, but uh, I only set it up to a 60. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. 60 watts, and you, yeah. have, you have more equipment? Yeah, like I said, uh, it never hurts to have a backup of the backup. So uh, we have the... Uh, I think this is the... Uh, That's his repeater. Yeah. It's one of the repeaters there. Um, I think it's the Yeisu F... Uh, v, VXR uh, 9000. Uh, it's a backup right now. Um, uh, we have uh, the uh, Kenwood the TKR 820. The top one is a UHF, uh, the bottom one is a VHF. Yeah. Yeah. So, backup of the backups. <laughs> and these are operational, right? Operational? Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, this is the Brian. Uh, they call it the Brian. It's actually um, a Raspberry Pi uh, controller connected to um, this Brian uh, radio module. Uh, it's, a, it's a micro uh, uh, transmitter. Uh, inside, uh, we have the um, Baofeng uh, BF88. Uh, uh, very small uh, walkie-talkie, uh, very cheap walkie-talkie. Uh, we remove the uh, the PCB board and uh, uh, installed some uh, controllers inside to interface with the uh, Raspberry Pi. And uh, right now it's connected to the uh, Philippine All Star Link uh, system, where you could uh, talk to. Um, uh, any uh, ham in the world, especially uh, hams from the Philippines. Yeah, I would like to thank Conrad for inviting me over to his QTH to share with me and you guys his setup here in Garland, Texas. Well, very, very impressive radio station here in AB6ST here in Garland, Texas. I thank him for inviting me over to his Radio Shack to share with me and you guys his station. My name is Captain Darren. My call sign is N4VFR. If you like my videos, please consider to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a like and a comment. Until next time, have a great day and be safe.